Paul O'Grady died at his Kent home last month. The 67-year-old's death certificate later revealed that he had died from sudden cardiac arrhythmia. Now, the Mail on Sunday has reported that his funeral will be held at Port Lim Safari Park. The presenter lived just three miles from the Kent Animal Reserve, owned by conservationist Damien Aspinall. It is said that there will be a service at a nearby church before a celebration at Port Lim. One source told the newspaper, Paul loved Port Lim. He got to know some of its residents very well and it was thought by his nearest and dearest that it would be a beautiful idea to hold his funeral there so they are in attendance, too. Staff hope they can do him proud. Paul was a regular visitor to the park and had even judged competitions for them in the past. Don't miss! Prince Edward rushed to the aid of Bedrid Mulrika Yonson, Colum, Paul O'Grady's cause of death confirmed after Star died at home age 67, latest, Jane Seymour talks being left with nothing due to husband's debt, interview, it boasts 600 acres, which are home to 900 rare and endangered animals, including lions and tigers. Express.co.uk has contacted representatives for Paul O'Grady and Port Lim Safari Park. Port Lim previously paid tribute to Paul on Instagram following his shock death, writing, We are deeply saddened to hear about the passing of Paul O'Grady, a local supporter of Port Lim and the work we do. We were incredibly grateful to have had him visit us. It comes after pal, actress Amanda Meeling, shared how Paul wanted his funeral to be full of laughter. She told The Mirror, whatever happens, Paul's funeral will be a celebration of his life and it will be full of laughter. He just told us to have a good time. He'd hate it if everyone was morose. He would just say, I don't care, I won't be here. Do whatever you want.